Number two, your vessel has to be en route. You may depart from the same port where you will load after preparation of your tanks. In this video, I am going to show you how do I discharge through the ODME. Literally, I am doing this operation right now and I hope this is a good opportunity to check it out. How do I do this ODME discharge operation as per regulation? I mean the complying with the NX1 regulation. As you can see, my ODME is running and this is oil discharge 33 ppm 8 knot speed this is vessel's speed 1 liter per nautical mile this is the present situation and the flow rate right now is 180 cubic per hour after collecting the wash water i am now decanting for this operation discharging from slop port i am decanting from slop port let us summarize the thing first if we want to decant that means we are discharging from the ship oil and water mix so this is you can say a mix of oil and water what are the criteria of discharging this kind of mixture and this is only permitted is decanting you allow the oil to settle down on top of the tank and below is remaining your water let's say this is slop slop port or slop starboard however i am doing this decanting from slop port tank so this is the water i want to dispose or discharge so what are the conditions to be met very first condition is your vessel has to be out of special area that means not in special areas number two your vessel has to be en route that means it has to have a path have a pathway not necessarily you have to have a departure port and then arrival port is different not not necessarily like this way because you may depart from the same port where you will load after preparation of your tanks let's say you are departing from san lorenzo and your load port is also san lorenzo that means you are getting back to san lorenzo again as you know san lorenzo is in argentinian port and you have a big river channel to come out you come out at sea and you do your uh, tank preparation and you can get back to your loading port again in San Lorenzo. So in this case, what you have to follow? Same out of special area and you know this part of the world is out of special area. It's not included in special area for NX1. And your passes, you will have to have a passes. Just uh, you have to make a passes to have this plan to decant. Okay, number three. You have to be 50 mile away 50 nautical mile of course mile away from the from the nearest land we are right now decanting and we are uh, loading back in san lorenzo but we are already 50 nautical mile away from the nearest land and we are doing a decanting right now as i showed you in my odm is running the oil discharge to be through odme Number five, the quantity maximum you are allowed to discharge is one by thirty thousand of the quantity loaded. This means if you like now we, we are decanting gasoline cargo. So gasoline is mixed with water now. In my slop tank. And I am allowed to dispose maximum 1 by 30,000 of the quantity loaded. I have loaded from Amsterdam and I have discharged in Argentina. 
and I loaded 32,000 cubic. And I have to divide with 30,000. So it is coming around 1.066. 1.066. This is cubic. So if I convert it to liter, it will be 1066 liter. This is maximum I can dispose. But to be honest, you will have very less cargo compared to this. If your vessel is properly complying or if you do the stripping while you discharge the cargo, if your stripping is good, there will be much, much less cargo because your vessel is designed as per p and manual. If it is a P uh, tank, if it is a oil and chemical tanker and if you comply with the p and manual, you will have very less cargo remaining. So this is maximum allowed, but you will have much, much less cargo in practical right here. 30 liter per nautical mile. That means you are allowed to dispose among this per nautical mile, per nautical mile maximum 30 liter. And how it, it calculates as per this ODME, it calculates based on the PPM and it is allowed maximum 301. So roughly we can say 300 PPM. So there is a relation between these two. So we have limits here. When it reaches 300 ppm, the overboard valve remains shut, becomes shut and the recirculation valve becomes open. It comes back to slop again. It gets back to slop. Hope to see you in next video.